Troy Luffett, full forward for the Sydney Swans, being picked up by Brown. Start of the match at the Sydney Cricket Ground. The Swans and the Cats. To complete the second round, four matches being played on this Sunday. Kettler out of the centre. Pretty good kick for distance and a good touch grab there by Grant. Free kick down the ground. I think the Swans player, Luff, may have been held by his opponent, Ben Graham. Well, the perfect start for the Swans. Out of the blocks in a hurry. Kepler, Grant, free kick down the ground. Luff has come in for Lockett. And Bruce, a lot of criticism of a third umpire, but he was only about 12 metres away from that incident, so surely he's got a good look at it. Luff from the goal square has got the goal. Got it back towards Pickering. In turn goes to Lynch. This is a good... It's a good-looking kick. Well done, Gary Ablett. First goal to... Gray. A bounce. Now squares up. That's all right. Kick. Good take. He's got some time to do something constructive here. Normally a good kick in that situation. Lewis. Stuart Lewis. Still with Lewis. Well played. And oh. a good kick. That's good for him. So love to kick from about 25 metres. He's got a kick to centre wing. Sydney outnumbered. This is where they've been outnumbered a number of occasions. On that wing, Brown, Pickering. They really should make something of this Geelong. Pickering's wobbly old floater. Riccardi, good grab. It's a good mark. It was a timed it very well. Gets it right there. It's a the centre of the ground, but it's taken by Kapler. Handball over the top. Grant, can he pop one through? My word he can. Shannon Grant. Comes wide to kick it. Pickering had the uh, drop on him. Good mark. Uh, Brownless very short. Goes in uh, short again. Nice grab by Brewer at the second. Luke. She could kick Brewer. They may give it up. McGrath outnumbered. Kapler important that he holds ground. Seymour, well done, Couch. Cats with a chance to really make them pay for it here. Pickering from 50. Goes to Ablett with a lovely looking kick, Ablett. Good at that. Still stops. Props. Looks for three kicks. Threw it away. D Rose's kick towards the goal square. And Brownless takes the... <laughs> Grabbed by Brewer. Not paid. Didn't actually control it in the end. Kelly... Shrugs a man off. Well done, Captain Higgins. Pity wasn't on his uh, left foot. Makes no difference. He's got it. Hinkley. Still Hinkley. Well, he could kick this. He's at 50. Straightens up. Good kick. It's a goal. And the free kick will go to the Swans. Taken by Lewis quickly. Tanner gets back, but Euskis takes a great man. It's at high into the square. It bounces through for goal. Unbelievable stuff. 12 games in five years at Essendon. What value have Geelong got out of him? He's been tremendous. Kelly, normally good in this situation. He's pacey and determined. Considine to try and do the shepherd. Kelly, well done. Short gets to Duckley. Duckley tried to draw Riccardi. He wouldn't be in at Riccardi. Bays or another finger tipper. Goes on short to Luff, surely. Luff, it will sit now. He's kicked two. Round the corner. He's kicked three. <laughs> Swatty's in front. Just short, Simpson. Getting away from Kelly, who was on the mark. Still just on the distance that they'd struggle with. Right there, Hinkley looking for a free kick. He's going to get it half minutes left, Dunkley's kicked to half forward, nearly taken by Grant, but McRae's hand pass into the path of Bruce, he left it behind, Simpson had his eyes right on it, and took it away cleanly, kicks it up towards half forward for Geelong, it rebounds now for Tanner, away to Barnes, Barnes very skillful, off that left foot, gets good distance, Ablett at the back, going to be a goal to Geelong, kick by Brad Scholl, well done. Bruce, I just can't agree with having Paul Roos off the ground. Gray, gee, Huskis' handball was dreadful. Hinkley has been the difference, I reckon, in the second half between them. Kicks the goal. He's kicked three goals now, Hinkley. To Bay, should take it. Gets it. Marks. Had a good game, Bays. Luff provides a lead. Bays, low, longer kicker. What a kick by Bays. 
It's good. In the last term. So plenty of football left here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Dean McRae tries to swing his way clear. Gets it out in front of Grant. Grant's handball to no one. Mansfield to Brown. Brown kicks it wide. Geelong are in the clear out here through Barnes. Bounce is awkward, but his tap on was very good. Pickering off the left foot towards half forward. Attempted dive by Gasper. Missed it all together. Back goes Minch. Handball. No one home for Geelong. A struggle there between Gray and Brewer looking for the free. Considine goes across the ground in towards the centre. Daniels has taken the ball. His kick waited wide for Grant. Couldn't take the mark. Up high and he's hurt himself. The ball spills towards half forward. Luff falls over. In goes Daniels. Great ball winner is Jason Daniels. Sweeping hand pass. Luff. Go for goal, Troy Luff. And kick a goal, Troy Luff. Punched away. Back towards the Geelong forward line. Tanner. Back to Couch. Couch in all sorts of strife. Got the kick away. And fortunately for Geelong, it lands with Pickering. In the middle for Geelong. He gets up and under. A long punt kick. No mark. Brownless in the pocket. Taken away by Gray. Kicks across his body and in the goal square, Minch has taken... He's put it through for... Goes wide. Bays, Mooney back on the ground. Well done, McGrath. Very well done, McGrath, because they had the numbers, but he did give it up. Daniels needs an accurate kick. Chips it. Gets it to Creswell. Creswell needs an accurate kick. Comes wide. Luff the target. Gets him. He's kicked four. If he's ever kicked five goals in an AFL game, I wouldn't have thought he has. Not bad. Not bad. It's a goal. They're in front. The Swannies again. So back at the centre of the ground. Oh, the bounce, bounce favours Barnes. Barnes gets a big fist to it. Knocked back there by Kelly. He's tough in the clinches. Doreen gathers. Kicks it across to the wing. And a mark taken by Kapler. He looks to play on. And he can do so now. With that left foot. This is a beautifully weighted kick. And Bruce, you may get your... Goals out of nine. It could be six out of ten. A match-winning performance by the last-minute replacement for Tony Lockett. He goes for goal. <laughs> He's put it through. Geelong here in the next couple of minutes, aren't they? Because if they can hold Geelong for a couple of minutes and keep a couple of goal margin, seven points it is at the moment. Seymour back to Gray, caught Gray. Oh, Higgins, Huskus, quick kick. Only as far as DeRose had made a mistake. The little 17 year old couldn't hold it. Ruse on the ground. Lord's come onto the ground. Good handle. Brewer, a good finisher. Misses. Goal. Forward, a contest there, it rebounds back to Couch. Couch can't get past, he's caught, well caught, and taken away by Mooney back on the ground. His kick is ordinary, chopped off by Barnes. Barnes goes in towards the centre, it's taken there by Simpson. A sweeping hand pass, Tanner, down inside five minutes. Tanner, beautiful kick. Pretty good kick for accuracy, it's a goal. Scores level at the Sydney Cricket Ground, free kick I think to Kelly in the centre. Yep. Mooney's gone into the ruck for the Swans. So all square, under four minutes remaining. Absolute thriller here. Bays is the target. Mansfield McGrath. Bays has got it. Well, he'll get the distance on the run. And misses the lot. Gee, anything would have been handy. Oh, no, gets a point. Sorry, gets a point. That is handy. Plenty of time, I know, but goals have been hard to get. 10 15. Again, 10, I query whether that goal umpire could have made a decision. He was way over near the far goalpost. Importantly, if the Swans can just manage a rebound goal here, it'll be two scores at Geelong need. De Rosa, the 17 year old from the Western Jets. Centre wing, Ruse. Oh, a punch. Schuskus, Couch, had a quiet one. Oh, well done, Couchy, though, to Colbert. A bounce. Inside to Lord, takes his man on, yep. goes towards goal, Ablett gets to the front, well done, oh free kick Ablett. Yep, was there, grabbed him by the arm. I think if they're there though, you've got to pay him, fair enough. He's kicked two Ablett, and he's kicked the last one, and he's about to be put to Geelong in front, you'd reckon for sure. He has, three goals to Ablett. Clock coming down. Clean possession for Sydney, their only chance now. They've got to get it away in a hurry. We're inside the last half minute. 
Brownless, Considine. Kuskus needs it to sit. He's got a few to beat. Good tackle on him. Holds him up. Tanner to the pocket. And it looks like Sydney's had its chance. In the last 10 seconds of the game. Right half forward for Geelong. 11-14 to 10-15. Gary Ablett's been the man, hasn't he, at the end with two late goals. And the, remember that he also got the kick to Minch from the throw-in, so he's made a big difference, Ablett, in the last 15 minutes of this game. Well held by Gray, but has been able to turn it on late. And Geelong are going to get away with this. Lead has changed hands 15 times in this match.